Hey guys, so I got another uh, unboxing and uh, installation video for you on the Blackhawk Omnivore after this. This is a level two retention holster um, from Blackhawk. This is the Omnivore. And the, the interesting thing about this guy is it, it's designed to fit on the accessory rail. And you can configure it to fit with, all, with over uh, 150 different types of semi-automatic pistol as long as it has the accessory rail. So just going around the, uh, the box real quick. Um, Buying multiple holsters for all of your handgun is no longer an issue. The Blackhawk Omnivore is a multi-fit holster with a, uh, that accommodates more than 150 styles of semi-automatic handguns hand with an accessory rail. The active retention mechanism locks onto your proprietary rail attachment device, not the frame of the handgun. A thumb release disengages the lock mechanism when driving the handgun. The Omnivore represents the future of retention holsters technology and delivers unparalleled firearm access. So the features on here, you can see that uh, multi-fit Omnivore holsters fit more than 150 styles of semi-automatic handguns with an accessory rail, active retention mechanism, ergonomic thumb activated retention mechanism delivers instant firearm access, level two retention, uses two features to hold the handgun securely in place, free float design, holster locks onto rail attachment device, doesn't wear firearms frame and finish. Three position adjustable release, customize the retention mechanism height for your thumb reach. So anyway, um, that's uh, anyway, that's what it is, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna open this up real quick, kind of show you what's inside, and we can get started. So obviously, I've already opened this. I pulled the holster out, kind of looked over it last night. Um, I was interested to see what all was involved in this guy, and it is uh, it is a little it is a little involved. So um, you know, there are instructions that may need to be referenced uh, during the making of this video, so bear with me there. Uh, so you get screws, different size thumb uh, release, some looks like uh, attachments that fit onto your gun, if I were to guess, and then maybe some positioning attachments for inside the holster. It comes with a belt loop mount and a paddle mount. So that's what's inside the, uh, the holster guys. So I will lay all this out and we can get started. All right guys, so I'm back. So I've been working on it for a little bit now and I understand what's going on a lot better. So what they give you is they give you these little, these little clips here that go onto the uh, rail system of your firearm. And then what happens is, is as you insert the gun into the holster, it catches on that rail system or it catches on their own proprietary locking system inside the holster. And so it's riding on that. So as you slide it down in there, you're not gonna, you're gonna have your your uh, active retention on that rail system. So that's how they're, that's how they're doing it. Um, now, one problem that I've already discovered, this will do 150 guns with uh, a rail system, but what it doesn't do, or what it doesn't do very well, and you'll see demonstrated here with this uh, PT-92, I have the rail system installed and mounted. They say to start with the first uh, rail mount here in the front and then move it back. Well, this gun only has two on the PT-92. So when I stick that one in here and I get it in, there's way too much trigger sticking out of the gun or out of the holster rather. So to me, that's unacceptable. That is a non-starter for this pistol. So you have to keep that in mind when you're uh, using this holster. Um, you know, not every gun is going to work. It does accept 150 guns with the rail system, but your mileage may vary. So, you know, it does work with the uh, MMP 2.0. I'm going to go and grab the uh, 
the uh, XDM and try that real quick and see how that works. So anyway, that's how the installation goes on this. Um, I'll go ahead and configure up the, uh, the belt and the um, paddle holster on the, or paddle for the holster on here as well. And then I'll come back and kind of go over things with you. Be right back. All right, so I got it on the XDM now. And so they tell you to start at the very first rail, like I said before. So what they're talking about is, they're talking about starting it up here on the, on the rail and then moving it back to the furthest you know, point necessary in order to uh, cover, the, cover the trigger guard. Well, you saw how it worked on this gun. Um, it doesn't. So I got it on the XDM here and we'll take a look at it real quick. So you can see it is in there um, and it does cover the, the trigger guard. Um, is that acceptable? That's kind of long. Uh, this, this is a universal holster. So I don't know if you can see down inside there, you know, the end of the slide in and barrel is probably a good, I don't know, two, three inches from the end of the gun. So, you know, it's probably ending like right here. So if you've got a four, what is this? A four and a half, four and a quarter inch barrel on your gun, a four and a half inch gun, then you're gonna have another two inches sticking out. So this is obviously meant for a lot of different guns, but you know, if you're putting this onto a subcompact or something like that, this may not be the gun for you or the holster for your, uh, for your needs. Um, it does provide something that a lot of holsters do not these days. And that's the, you know, push button retention on this level two retention holster. And I am gonna do a video about holsters and retention holsters uh, in a future video, but um, this is just on this one. So if you're looking for that feature on your holster, you know, this does provide that at an inexpensive price. Um, I also have another holster that I'm gonna be reviewing soon. Um, and it also has a similar situation, but it is very much, um, manufacturer specific when it comes to the firearms. So, you know, it does do what it says it's gonna do. It has holstering capabilities for multiple firearms. Uh, so it does, you know, in this particular case, it does do that very well. Um, if you're okay with losing your light rail or accessory rail, I should say. Um, all right, so then I guess, you know, the really the only other thing to cover is uh, you get these three screws, obviously for these three, you know, screw patterns on the back, you need to choose, you know, which mounting mechanism are you gonna put it on a belt, you know, say a duty belt or a chest rig or something like that, and you wanna run some molly straps through it and put it on a chest rig, um, this, this adapter may work for that. Otherwise, if you're just gonna use it for a paddle holster, you know, you're somebody who needs to just slip the gun on and off real quick, um, you've got the same mounting points on the paddle holster as you do on the belt on the belt loop or the paddle as you do on the belt. So I'm not gonna bore you with that guys. Uh, I'm sure you can figure out how to screw three screws in and, and determine the cant that's right for you. Um, so that's gonna be it. I'm gonna call it on that. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, that's always appreciated as well. And if you like this kind of content, you wanna see more of it, you can find me on GunStreamer. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. And you can find me on an open source platform called BitChute. Uh, look for Jeff underscore tack on all of those social media platforms and you should be able to find me there. So anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.